welcome to my craft show. Today we're going to be making an awesome robot costume with none other than killer robot creator himself from Mythbusters, Grant Imahara. Excellent. Hello. So I don't, you've built robots for Craig Ferguson. you built robots for, well, you've done R2-D2. Have you ever done a costume before? Um, I have yeah, actually, for yeah. For Woodstock. That's right, yes. Beerbot. Yes. Beerbot costume. So I actually have built a robot costume before called Beerbot. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't actually dispense beer. I was hoping this time we'd actually get to build something that dispensed alcohol, maybe Stoli Bot. It was not to be. So this is going to be a robot costume that has no beer. I am very sorry. We couldn't get the budget. All right. It's an easy craft. And I do see that you've injured yourself already. I have. I broke my wrist. So we have to be really careful okay. today. So we're going to turn you into a cyborg. And we're going to make sure that you don't injure yourself further. Or will we? Make no mistake. Bonnie Burton is the most dangerous crafter I know, perhaps on the planet. So the first thing you need to do is the head. Okay. So we have a common household box, and we're going to go ahead and put this on your head. Okay. Because we need to fit it. Got it. And then what we're going to do is make really awesome eye holes. So stand still. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Wait, what's wrong, Grant? Okay. <laughs> oh, do you that's, not, that's not how you do the eye hole? No, well, you know, I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, so we're gonna guess then. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna go do like this, like that. So you basically hit it like that. I mean, that wouldn't have hurt you no. too much, really. Is there murder in Bonnie's soul? Maybe. It's a dark place, sometimes. Populated by googly eyes and glitter. And then another one. This might be a little off kilter, it doesn't matter. It's okay. And you're going to go ahead and cover this. I'm giving you one strip so you can craft, Grant. Sweet. All right. See, it's so, important to be involved in these it things. It is, and I, oh, oh, Grant. I need another strip. Grant, oh, geez. Sorry, I we use a lot of duct tape. I do realize duct tape is the Mythbusters mascot, so it doesn't really matter how perfect, because magic, Ta -da. that is crafting magic, my friends. So what you need to do, I'm gonna give you an easy craft since you're crippled. All right. Is go ahead and make lightning bolts out of this metallic pipe cleaner. So you have like a little thing and then you twist it. So I'm gonna put you on that. Okay. You're on antenna duty, so there you go. And so the cool thing with this craft is you can pretty much do it with metal stuff around the house and duct tape. Because every household should have duct tape, right? Yes, duct tape? Absolutely. Yes, right, Grant? Every household, not only every household, every car, yes. every vehicle should have duct tape yes. in it. You never know what's gonna fall off. Now, have you ever had a Mythbusters where you had to fix things with duct tape? Yes, we fixed entire cars, we made a boat. So how's your antenna coming? Really yeah, good. good, Really, I'm liking this. And I'm putting the burners on for the eyes. Okay. They're looking a little wonky. I think I've covered up your one good eye. We don't want that. Well, I, I can use the other eye. We're basically going to push you into traffic later, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Clearly pushing me into traffic? This is further evidence that Bonnie does, in fact, have a dark side. Then we're going to go ahead and use these tins, and you can use any kind of nut or snack tin, and just take the label off, clean it out, unless you want your robot smelling like snacks. But you might, I don't know. All right, what do you think about me? I love it. It's like you've got hot twirly action going on, right. like you haven't heard that before. Yeah, well. Let's just be honest. Let's, yeah. <laughs> At least not yet today. There we go. I wouldn't recommend having a friend in the costume while you're building it, because then you're going to, there will be a lobotomy issue. You risk injury. Okay, there we go. Okay. So you just press that down. You just want to be able to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to hear anything in this yeah, costume. All right, go. so this is the nose. Look how cute that is. I think we should put the jaunty hat. Let's so, put the jaunty hat up, like kind of like. Yeah, that. I think so. But I love using slinkies. Oh yeah. I'm thinking we should do a slinky kind of hairdo. So maybe you take okay. that end. All right. And I'll take this end, and maybe we'll just kind of dangle it over the edge, and like maybe duct tape it to the side. So oh, oh slinky on the run. Almost got away. Call the slinky, Grant. Now before we can put this on you, I kind of think we need some meshing. So just hold still, Grant. This is gonna it work. Might, it might cut you a little, so you know, don't move too much. Okay. You might not be a robot that moves much. So I'll just go ahead and- How about, an, can I have one arm? Uh, no. Okay. So then, we'll staple you in it. You weren't going anywhere today, right? You ready? Yes. To be robot-fied? All right. Okay, here it. we go. Do so it. we're putting on the hat, or the helmet. There you go. You're All wrapped right. in robot mesh. I would put the whisk on, but I'm a little afraid. So let's just try it. I'm ready for my party. <laughs> Perfect robot costume. So we are now fully part of the robot army. 
I want to thank Grant Imahara from Mythbusters for being on the show. Thank you, Grant. I appreciate it. By the way, I don't have a staple remover, so you're kind of stuck like that. I hope you like the outfit. What? And please subscribe and watch more of our awesome craft shows. Be sure to watch Mythbusters as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> This way, this you know, despite its appearance, a sort of uncomfortable and strange, the costume was in fact very uncomfortable and pokey in many places.